All right, let's get right into it. There's a huge debate raging at the very heart of artificial intelligence, and it was sparked by, you guessed it, one of its own founding fathers. And we're talking about a real heavyweight here, Richard Sutton. This is a guy who won the Turing Award, which, you know, is basically the Nobel Prize for computer science. So he's not just some critic on the sidelines. He's one of the actual architects of the field. And what he's saying is pretty shocking. He thinks large language models, you know, LLMs, the engine behind everything from ChatGPT to Gemini, the whole AI revolution we're in right now, he thinks that whole approach is a dead end, fundamentally flawed, obsolete. So why would an absolute pioneer of AI make a claim that bold? I mean, it sounds kind of crazy, right? Well, let's dig in. To really get where he's coming from, we need to unpack his logic. And what you'll find is this amazing clash of ideas about what intelligence even is. Okay, so the first big piece of the puzzle is this. What are LLMs really doing when they churn out all that text? Are they actually thinking? Or are they just, you know, incredible mimics? So here's where the two camps really split. On one side, you have the common view, right? The idea that for an AI to predict language so incredibly well, it must have built some kind of robust model of the world. How else could it do it? But Sutton, he says, nope, that's a clever illusion. He argues that LLMs don't model the world at all. They're just modeling what we say about the world. They're mimicking the mimics, us. And this gets to a really critical point for him, ground truth. Since LLMs only learn from text, he says they have no real connection to reality. Think about it like this. If an AI predicts that dropping a ball will make it fall, it can't actually drop a ball to see if it's right. It can only check its prediction against a sea of text where humans have written, when you drop a ball, it falls. For Sutton, that's not the same thing at all. That distinction, well, that's everything. So for Sutton, it all comes down to this. Real intelligence has to be tied to having and achieving goals in the world. Predicting the next word in a sentence, that's just a language game. It doesn't actually do anything. He believes a truly intelligent agent has to be able to act and then see the real world consequences of those actions. And that idea of acting and seeing consequences leads us right to the next big point of disagreement. How do we, how do intelligent beings actually learn about the world to begin with? You know, a lot of people think kids learn mostly through imitation. It kind of fits the LLM model, right? They just copy us. But Sutton says, no way. He thinks that's totally wrong. He sees early learning as this messy, chaotic, beautiful process of pure trial and error. Babies are just waving their hands, making weird noises, trying stuff out, and seeing what happens. It's all about discovery, not just copying. And this is really the core of his whole argument. He believes that true, deep learning isn't about being handed the right answers. That's what we call 